Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how Benin's leader has endorsed the film The Woman King, and it is aired in one of the few cinemas that K Kotano, which is the capital of, well, it's not the capital of Benin, but it's where the government is, and it's Benin's largest city, even though uh, the capital is technically Porto Novo. But nevertheless, Cotino has a few cinemas, and they have aired The Woman King. And the president of Benin, Patrice Talon, is thrilled about it. But however, here's some things about Patrice Talon. Now, yes, he is a descendant of slave traders that were involved in the slave trade. But now he can't control what his ancestors did. I get that. But what he has done before the movie has come out is he, with the help of the Chinese government, helped erect a statue of an Amazon woman warrior in the city of Cotino. Well, here's the thing. As I pointed out in previous videos, the Amazon women warriors were actually fighting to preserve and continue the slave trade, not to end it. And the woman king depicts the kind of the opposite of that. So, Patrice Talon is trying to cover up, not what just his ancestor did, not just trying to rewrite history, but Patrice Talon has a bad human rights record. Before he became president, Benin used to kind of be the beacon of democracy in West Africa and they have multi-party systems. Well, since he's taken power, a lot of political opponents have mysteriously ended up in jail, and a lot of them on trumped-up charges. And and the French government under Emmanuel Macron uh, still uh, has strong ties with Benin because Benin used to be a French colony, and France did a lot of things to that area when they were a French colony that they shouldn't have. It was unjust occupation. It was unjust colonialism. I understand that. But... France is not like that anymore, and for France to not address the human rights abuses in Benin and the human right and the at the way Benin's going with that, um, that is wrong. And a lot of French opposition parties are angry at Emmanuel Macron for that, and you can't really blame them. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye.